If you subscribe to this channel, there is a good chance you found me through my Notion office hours on how to use Notion for bullet journaling. And my entire Notion bullet journal, all of the different collections and all of the different spreads are all held together by my daily Notion journaling practice and one daily review template. And because of how that daily spread template is set up, I never need to spend more than a few minutes at a time updating any of the others. So in this video I'm gonna walk you through how that notion journal setup for daily logs works so you can see what I mean so here is my review dashboard which is the equivalent of my digital bullet journal this is kind of like the index it is where anything that is also or formally would have been in my physical bullet journal goes inside of my overall notion setup and there's a link in the description to download a free template based on this if you are interested in doing the same. Uh, so you can see that the structure and the terminology, it's all similar to the language of bullet journaling. I've got my spreads for daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly at the top. And then the stuff after the top section is stuff that in a bullet journal would be considered collections or trackers. And so now let's go into my daily logs and see what's up with those. So the different database views of this database that I look at the most um, are my scorecards and a gallery. My scorecards for the year uh, use a formula based on different stats and roll-ups that I'll explain later. And the photo gallery view shows any journal entry that has a photo attached and then also shows that photo. Since I'm trying to just, you know, take more pictures of everyday life that are just for myself, not for social media. Um, and so I normally start my Notion log for the day partway through the day, but I am trying to make it part of my earlier work wind-up routine. So so that by the time I actually need it, it is already all set up. Not that setup is particularly difficult. Uh, it's pretty easy because of the templates that I've created. So the template that I use most days is the daily dashboard, but I also have these two other templates that are more minimal and less detailed for days that I don't feel like doing a full daily review. So I apply the template and then the only things that I need to do for setup are name the log, which I use a mention of the date for and then I also create a manual version of the date to have it in calendar views and I attach the week from the weekly spread and then I do those same few things on the embedded habit tracker and health tracker and I've been asked why I don't keep all three of those uh, in one database why I have health and habits separate and it's just because if it was all one it would be a huge ass database uh, so this is just breaks it up a little bit makes it less visually overwhelming and I don't always feel fill out all of them so this way I can just look at what I need, what I am most focused on in the moment. And this first morning routine section is for when I start my daily log earlier in the day. So since I'm trying to get better at remembering this, it's there inside of the template, but because I'm not good at remembering it, I have it underneath the toggle. So it's hidden on days that I don't need it. But hypothetically, I would wake up and I'd start this template on my phone before I started my morning routine and went about my day. And I would choose whether I wanted to do a shorter, more abbreviated morning routine or a slower, more leisurely morning routine. And I would press the applicable template button to create a checklist and then go about my business. And then after that section are the health and habit trackers that I mentioned before. Uh, and since they're pretty complex and hard to explain, I will do separate videos on them instead of going into them in depth now. So just know that they're coming, comment if you wanna see it. And following that, is a brain dump section where I wouldn't you know it brain dump throughout the day um, if it's something that feels relevant to the time of day that it's at I will put a timestamp in the note using a text expander shortcut so I can just type semicolon time uh, but if it doesn't feel relevant I don't do that and in this section is just where any more traditional journaling like lists or sentences that I need to get out of my brain throughout the day uh, it's where they go and pretty much everything after the that is also a linked database. Uh, most of them from the other Notion bullet journal collections. I've got the health and habit trackers. I've got a writing word count tracker, a work journal, and a wins progress log. And then this daily review section in between is a checklist for my evening review of all of the just digital decluttering stuff that I want to do before I go screen free for the rest of the night. The first step of that is updating 
updating stats here in this spread in my physical bullet journal and along with exist.io and rescue time, both of which I talk about in my productivity tools for 2021 video. So after I review my personal stats for the day, I look at my two Notion inboxes, the two different places that I kind of dump and clip new content to in Notion throughout the day. The first of those is my regular inbox for tasks and thoughts that come to me, uh, stuff that I'm getting out of my own brain, and my content curation inbox for things like articles to read, videos to watch, uh, stuff from other people's brains. And then also I don't do this daily since it's part of my weekly review as well, but I also sometimes review my tasks database in the same kind of way. And then the final thing that I do is to plan for tomorrow by looking over my tasks database, anything due tomorrow, and looking at my calendar. If a collection from my overall digital bullet journal index isn't included in this daily review template, it's simply because I already know that I don't update it enough to warrant it being built into the template I use every day. But during this daily review section, that is the time of day where in addition to filling out this daily journaling template, I will also go into any other dashboards or areas or collections that I have in my Notion dashboard and review them if I feel the need to. And then based on all the information that I inputted into these different areas, now I can scroll to the top and I can see that report card that I mentioned earlier, all filled out and beautiful. You can see that it pulls in my sleep score from my health tracker, my productivity score from entering manually my rescue time score, my word count pulled in from my writing tracker, and it's got a habit rating, which is based on the habit score in my habit tracker. I told you that one's complicated and that's why it needs its own video. And then there are also some other fields in here that connect to things like what entertaining or educational content I consumed that day. Uh, I can add a highlight, I can add a photo if I took one, and this all makes the different fields up in this top section an amazing overview of my day. And not only that, it's not only useful in this context, it also then gets pulled into my weekly and monthly spreads as well through this connection to my weekly spreads. And it just makes everything really easy to review. I was always someone that struggled with remembering to just kind of look over things that didn't necessarily need to to be changed. If something didn't need to be changed, I would just kind of ignore it. Um, but this practice really has me consistently looking over important areas of my life once a day and I love it. And so that is my Notion daily log. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna try out the template for yourself. Like I said before, it's in the description if you're interested in using it. And if you're interested in my other videos on how I use Notion, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out these other videos on my Notion setup next. Bye-bye and have a brighter week.